Taylor. He's right here from Lincoln High School. In fact, first of all, your family's here. Stand up, please. Touchdown by an opposing team this year is Brother Connor, uh, Portland State. He scored last quarter against the Beavers. So. Last year, about this time, I was announcing who the seniors were at State, and I announced Taylor as a senior because I, it seemed like he'd been there forever uh, <laughs> and doing everything for the Beavers. But I think he represents uh, what a student athlete is supposed to be like. He's a guy who not only graduated here, but he's also at Lincoln. He's also graduated from Oregon State in four years. He's uh, taking graduate courses. He, uh, he was on the all pac 10, uh, all academic team, three years in a row. And uh, is it four or? I think it's yet to be announced, but. No, I said it was last year about Keenan Lewis. And he didn't get on it, so it kind of made me look bad. So <laughs> really, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's, this is going to be uh, kind of a fun deal. So why don't you tell us, uh, first of all, what drew you to Oregon State? You started as a walk-on. What, uh, what made you decide to come there? Well, first of all, I'm honored to be here and honored to speak to all the nice people. And um, I think the answer to that question was, uh, I've always been an Oregon State fan my whole life. Both my parents, Dan and Jennifer, um, graduated from there, and that's where they met. So always bled black and orange through and through. And, um, you know, I went there first off. Uh, to tell you the truth, football was kind of a secondary addition um, to what I went there for. I went there to study engineering, and um, I decided late in my senior season that I would at least try to walk on the football team. Um, so I'm the kind of person, once I make that decision and believe in it, I really go after it, and uh, that's what I did, and I'm lucky enough to have Coach Riley and the coaching staff. They gave me a shot, and um, I think from there I, you know, just um, worked extremely hard, and, uh, you know, it all kind of fell into place, and I'm very fortunate for that, so. Construction engineering. Mm -hmm. Tough, uh, tough course, tough everything. How do you, give us an example of, of you know, when you've got full credit scored working, you know, what are days like during football season for somebody in engineering? <laughs> um, you know what? Check, check. You know, I'm not the only guy in engineering. I have to give a shout out to a few of my guys and friends on the team. Justin Cahoot is also a construction engineer, Gabe Miller, and then um, we have a few other guys. So uh, it's fun to share that with them. But um, during the season, the season is pretty, uh, it's pretty packed as far as time-wise. It takes a lot of time management to get everything done. Um, my typical day would be um, I usually wake up um, in time for 8 o'clock classes. So around seven o'clock or so, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you don't use Bob Miller's schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seven forty-five. <laughs> no, it, I, um, typically um, mornings are when I take all my classes. So typically about eight to eleven or eight to twelve. Um, we lift two times a week during the season. So in between on two days, two days of the week. Um, I'll lift between classes and football, and then we have um, lunch up in Valley Football Center, and then um, from about 12.45 to 6 p.m. at night is um, basically our uh, block for football, so within that um, meetings, practice, um, and then dinner, and so 12 to 6 is pretty much um, committed to football, and then um, I'll typically uh, go to the library and study for next day's classes, or, you know, um, Speak on, to be on the phone with my family and stuff, and then uh, you know, try to get to bed as early as I can. But you know, that's kind of a uh, variable. <laughs> well, first of all, let's talk about football. You've got so many interesting things you've done. I, I can't forget the football part. <laughs> you have what I consider two of the most thankless jobs in football: being back there catching punts um, and also catching extra points and and, uh, and uh, field goals, holding for them. Talk about those positions and, and just what it means to you to be a part of the team in such a, a dominant position. Um, you know, as, as I said, Steve, they're, um, you know, small positions, um, but as we've come to found out um, through many teams that, you know, it, every every position is very important and it's important that you do it well and you focus on it. And as Coach Riley would say, you, um, you perfect your niche and you perfect your craft. And um, I think to epitomize myself and the rest of the team, I think that I've done that in that, you know, I work very hard and take those two roles seriously and whatever else the coaches ask me to do. And 
Um, I think that's an example of what everybody on our team really does. You know, whether it's Quiz or Sean or uh, Keaton Christick or any of you guys on defense, I think they all take that same attitude that their role is crucial and they take it very seriously. Um, and they practice like that, they play like that. And, you know, I like to say I do the same with, um, you know, catching punts. I share those with James. So James and I catching punts and then holding for Justin and stuff. So it's something I take seriously. It's something I have fun with. And, um, you know, I like to think that it's an, it's an important part of the team and winning games and stuff. So. I know one of the things that is important to Coach Riley and your teammates, you have been the recipient of the lunch, what they call lunch bucket award the last three years. Um, for the guy who comes every day, puts it all in, works hard. Um, Tell us about that award and tell us what it means to you. You know, uh, the first thing that comes to mind when you say that is uh, because I'm honored enough to um, receive that award a few times, um, a lot of the guys on the team call me Lunch Bucket. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm not among other nicknames and stuff. <laughs> Everybody has their own nicknames and stuff. Lunch Bucket is, you know, when you say that, it's the first thing that comes to mind. But um, the award was really, uh, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't be more honored that it was voted on by my teammates, so that's one reason that I'm, you know, I was ecstatic to get it, and I'm still very honored by that. And um, you know, it's a, uh, it's great to know that your teammates um, hold you in that regard, um, think of you as a hard worker, and uh, you know, just to be able to um, carry on that legacy and set um, a culture of hard work and be part of that within the Oregon State program. You know, I take that seriously. And I'm, you know, I'm honored by that award for sure. One more football question. When you're getting ready with Justin Cahoot uh, and, and your center, what do you say, what do you do uh, with the kicker and also getting the snap? Um, that's one of the, uh, the snap hold kick is something we do thousands of times. When, when you guys see it on TV, that's not the first time you practice it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, even during the summer we're out there, we're during, out there during spring ball. So, you know, when we go out on the field and, and we do that, it's really just muscle memory by then, you know. Um, Justin and I do a quick little handshake before that. We have our um, little, uh, little things that we do to, you know, keep it running smooth and stuff. But that's a play that, you know, and I think it's a lot like football. It's an epitome of football that you practice it so many times because it becomes muscle memory. And um, you know that's really we look, you know we try to we try to do it perfectly. We aim for perfection. We practice it. We aim for perfection. We do it in the game, and uh, you know it's a, it's a fun play. It's only you know um, two seconds long, but you know it's it's an important one. So well, it better be two seconds long. 